So this is Lifter, a new path to personal fitness. This project was done by myself, Jason Chin, and my group member, Harsh Patel. Um, and what Lifter is, is a fitness system that consists of a mobile application and a workout machine. The workout machine would be installed at the fitness center and the mobile application would be installed on the user's phone. Um, and what we do is provide real-time feedback uh, on the user's workout form. So we want to provide insights on how the user can improve um, the technique that they're using to uh, perform workouts. Uh, this helps with safety, helps with um, increasing effectiveness of workouts, and we do this by combining different AI, computer vision, and basic calculus techniques. Um, so here's an agenda of what we're, we're covering today. Um, and our problem statement breaks down to three major goals. So we want to reduce overall cost, we want to teach and verify proper form, and we want to enable an independent journey. And so what does that look like? So um, where these uh, goals came from is that we, we saw that people were using YouTube, wearable tech, um, different workout guides, and personal trainers to improve their workout form. Um, well, with YouTube, there's no real feedback loop. So anyone can, yes, upload a video telling people how to do a workout, but there's no feedback on how the user is actually performing a workout. Um, with wearable tech, you can keep track of different health stats, but you can't, again, get that feedback on how you're performing your workouts. Um, with mobile applications like bodybuilding.com or men's fitness, you can get a workout guide or a workout plan, but again, no feedback on your form. And finally, um, the classic solution, personal fitness trainers. These are great. Um, they work well but they can range from $50 to over $100 per hour. So our solution is Lifter. Um, we have six main guiding principles. To highlight a few, we want to provide a diverse array of um, exercises. We want to give accurate and real-time feedback. Um, we want to allow fitness centers to use this as a value add when they install our software um, and workout machine at their center. We want to ensure a strong connection between our mobile app um, and uh, our workout machines. We want to provide users with live visuals and stats during the workout and provide a seamless user experience. Um, so the customer journey kind of goes like this. So first, the user begins by downloading the mobile application, um, going to a fitness center that has our workout machine installed, um, the user will then enter the PIN, as we'll see in the demo, select a workout through the mobile app, and then um, through the mobile app, receive live workout feedback. Um, the process flow, flow um, in our workout machine goes something like this. So a raw frame is input into a convolutional neural network um, with some special features that extract key points on the user's body. Um, that's visualized um, in this diagram here with the different colors and the black background. That data is fit, fed into our heuristic extractor, um, which extracts different things like are the joints moving in the X or the Y, um, the angles between different joints. That data is then fed into our different critique frameworks, whether that be the shoulder press critique framework, the bicep curl critique framework, squat, you know, it goes on forever. Um, out of that, then we get the critique data. So if there's something that we can critique the user on and, and give them feedback on, that's where that would be. Um, and so this is a, a little data flow analysis of our um, software architecture. So the journey starts on the user's phone. Um, it communicates to the server, which has a session ready, um, which was uh, initialized by the workout machine. So um, when the user connects their smartphone, um, this establishes communication between the, the client through the server to the workout machine and then back. Um, we use Socket.io here to allow for um, bi-directional um, messaging. We use S3 uh, to hold the critique images that you'll see in the 
in the demo and MongoDB to store user data. Um, and now we'll move on to the demo. So next we have the Lifter technical demo. The first major component of this is Lifter Train, which would be installed at the fitness center. And the second component is the companion app called Lifter Me. Okay, so now Lifter Train is set up in front of me. It has a pin on it and I have the app open on my phone. So right now, Lifter Train, a workout machine, is a couple of feet away from me. Um, and it has a pin that allows the user to securely connect to the session. The nice thing about this is that the user can control the machine without ever coming into physical contact with it. This allows for a more seamless workout experience as the user's not constantly walking towards and back away from the workout machine. Um, so on the app, I have a couple of features listed here. It's just a welcome screen. I'll hit start, put in my login credentials, and hit login. I'll then start the session, or enter the session, um, by putting in the pin that I see on the screen and entering session. So on the workout screen now, I've been transitioned to the live uh, camera feedback screen. And on the app, I see the different workouts that this um, machine supports. So first off, I'll choose shoulder press. Um, now on the workout machine, it tells me that I've selected shoulder press and on the app, I see the workout screen. So now I can hit start and I'll get a countdown on the workout machine. And this just lets me know that I'm in the active state. I'll pick up the weights. And now that I see that I'm in uh, the setup uh, step, um, a user would have seen some kind of video or some kind of infographic showing them how to use it previously. So I just know that I have to set up in this position. Now I get markers on um, the relevant joints. And as I move, they fill up or empty. This indicates to the user exactly how to move in order to properly um, perform this workout. So as I raise, they fill up. And then once the raise step is done, I can lower, and again, they fill up. So I'll just do a couple reps here. And you'll see that on the screen, um, on the workout screen, as well as the app, um, the reps are kept in sync. Um, so now as the user performs the workout, if they perform it poorly, um, for example, they overextend their elbows at the top, but get a critique on the phone, um, as well as if as a lowering, they go below and too fast, they'll get another critique on the phone. Um, and so while you do the workout, the machine is constantly looking at your key positions and critiquing how you perform it. So now I will go back to the app. Um, I can see my reps here. I can now explore these critiques. So in this critique, it's clear that I've overextended my elbows. And um, the nice thing about this is that the user gets an image of when they um, perform poorly, as well as a caption on how to improve their uh, form. So now I can go back, choose bicep curl, for example, and again, hit start. I get the countdown again on the screen. I'll get my weight, and I get up in the setup position. Again, I get a marker on the key joint of my body, and I'm in the lower step. So I'm going to lower, it's going to fill up, and now I'm in the raise step. As I raise, it'll fill up, and now I'm in the lower step. And so this is how it counts the reps by keeping track of your key points. And so if I perform a repetition where I swing on my elbow, I'll get a critique on my phone. And if we show this critique, it's clear that I was swinging my elbow. The caption tells you how to improve this. Um, and the user can see themselves uh, what they did wrong. So to see if this is done, I'll go um, to bicep curl 
and then I will activate the debug pose. So the debug pose shows me um, when my joints are being moved, in what direction, and at what angle. You can see that if I say still, my joints say hold in the x and y direction. And as I um, raise and lower my wrist, the angle on my joint changes. So same with shoulder press. Um, constantly the machine is looking at your pose, the angles, the motion, and critiquing your workout.